All right, what's going on, everyone? So today we are we're testing a deck. I want to make that clear. Uh, if you see this on like Ether Hub or whatever, uh, this isn't tested. This isn't proven. I'm not pitching this as a great deck. We're we're testing to see if this is good or not. This is a five rare budget sacrifice deck. So the reason I wanted to try this is the the sacrifice package that you see in so many decks. Uh, I Twitch, Shambling Ghast, Deadly Dispute, and uh, Scoreport Merchant are all common and uncommon, right? So that's a good foundation for some kind of a deck. What kind of a deck? I don't know. But we have that sacrifice package and all of its, you know, its, its budget. So if you're not familiar with how this stuff works, um, Shambling Gas, when it dies, uh, it creates a treasure. I Twitch, when it dies, it learns, so you can get a lesson from the sideboard. Then Deadly Dispute can sacrifice creatures or artifacts, so it can sacrifice treasure tokens, to draw two. And it produces a token, a treasure token. And then Skullport Merchant can also sacrifice uh, creatures to draw cards. So basically you have these sacrifice outlets that draw tons of cards. And you have these great sacrifice targets that give you value when they die anyway. So it's a good foundation for a deck. Just where do we go with it? And obviously I just want to play more stuff that cares about dying. So first off we have Carter and Dreadhound. So Dreadhound, um, a mills three when you play it. But more importantly, anytime a creature dies... The opponent loses one. So that's perfect if we're going to be sacrificing a lot, right? Um, same thing with Carter. Um, it unfortunately only triggers when we attack. But attacking creatures that die uh, cause the opponent to lose one and we gain one. So we have all these triggers for stuff dying. Uh, Loth also cares about stuff dying. And this is one of our only rares. We have five rares total. Loth, uh, whenever something dies, she gets uh, counters. She can also produce tokens that don't care about dying because... No, their tokens we can always make more of them we also get morbid opportunists this is a very cool card that is shockingly not rare three mana one three isn't very good but whenever one or more creatures die it draws a card so anytime we sacrifice something we're just going to draw an extra card so we have all these ways to sort of you know drain life draw cards and stuff when creatures die so now we want creatures how do we get creatures obviously lulth also produces tokens but another way is sedmore witch which uh, whenever we cast a spell will create a token, also a decent threat by itself. And we also have Hunt for Specimens. This will create a 1-1 pest, but then it learns. And in our sideboard, we have four pest summonings, which will also make two more pests. Yeah, we just have lots of ways to create tokens to try to trigger these and uh, give us ways to draw, stuff like that. That's the deck. Let's, uh, we're just going to play it, see if it's good. Again, this is untested. I literally haven't played it. I just, I just changed it. I just built it, so... Yeah, we're, we're just testing the deck, seeing if this is any good. Alright, got a game. Our hand is not great, but we have a draw, uh, a, car a way to draw cards, so I guess it's fine. It's not too bad. Opponent's playing white. We'll play a Shambling Ghast. Pass the turn. Perfectly happy to trade this with a white aggro card if that's what they're playing. They're not. They're playing Azorius Control, most likely. That is probably a Saul saw it coming so uh we're just gonna play uh, a mountain a shambling gas and we're going to attack for one if this is like a doom scar that's fine because we'll draw cards we'll draw one card but we have ways to mitigate that what is that um draws a card they can sacrifice it to gain life all right we'll play morbid opportunist so this isn't a very aggressive deck if you can't tell we've played a creature every turn but we've got three power on the board not exactly a, a blistering pace deck, but we can draw cards and stuff, and that's cool. Uh, that is a Doom Scar. Okay, well, at least we'll draw a card. Um, we'll get a couple treasure tokens as well. Treasure, treasure. So we're playing Loth this turn, and they don't have counter spells up. That's fine. Sure. So draw a card. That is an Eye Twitch. Draw a land. So we will play Loth. Auto pay. We will minus, get a couple uh, tokens, play I Twitch. Alright. This is fine. Put a board wipes again. We just make two more tokens. Kaya. What does Kaya do again? Exiles target permanent. That's gonna hit my lull. I'm sure you'll miss okay. A morbid opportunist. I'm tempted to play this. But it doesn't do as much as, you know, drawing a card when all my stuff dies if they have another Doom Scar. So I think I'm actually going to go with Morbid Opportunist. I'd just rather draw a card. We'll do two here. Three here. So 
so we traded planeswalkers. I don't have as much power on the board here, but they don't have blockers anyway. And I do worry that there will be another board sweeper, so I just, I'd rather draw a card if possible. I might not even play this. Just, I'll keep it in my hand if they play a board sweeper. That's fine, I guess. Adds mana. Feed the swarm. Alright. Well, we, oh, well, I'm definitely doing that. They're tapped out again. So we'll play this. Uh, get some tokens. Attack for five. Pony goes to 12. Lolt is pretty good. We have two of them in the deck and we drew both of them. So, oh, oh my god. Well, this is feeling familiar. Sure. Another land. So we do two here. The rest here. Pony goes to five. I'm going to keep this in hand. Just in case, because they're dead. Like, they're dead no matter what. If they have a board sweeper, at least we'll have a creature. But that, well, it worked out. Uh, that was a casual deck, but ours is a casual deck. It didn't look like a casual deck, though. If you look at what we played, like, the only casual card we played was Morbid Opportunist. I mean, pretty much everything we played is what you see in Tier 1 decks. But we only have five rares, so that's kind of cool, right? Not bad. All right, got a game. Um, we have a hunt for specimens and morbid opportunists. I think this is fine. So we'll play a land, pass. Opponent plays a forest. We'll play hunt for specimens. We're gonna get pest summonings. We almost always want pest summonings. Not not always, always, but like almost always. Um, what do we play here? I guess. Uh, do I just want this? Actually, do I just want power? They aren't doing much. We'll just play this. Um, they're in mono green, right? So they're not going to be playing removal. So I don't need to play this right away. I don't think, anyway. Oh, okay. They're playing red. Jorn. Interesting. Um, so I think I play Morbid Opportunist. And I just attack. They can block one, but I get to draw a card if they do that. So it's fine. I'm just replacing these tokens that I got with more cards, right? That's the value of Morbid Opportunist. Like we, we got these tokens. I got three tokens for two cards, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna draw three from them as they die. So it's like it's pretty good. It's, there's a lot of value, built-in value with this deck. We just don't have a lot of oof, right? We don't have a lot of power. Uh, that sucks. That sucks a whole lot. Dire Strain Rampage. Attacks for four. Untaps their stuff. Glorious Sunrise. What's that do? Uh, they can choose stuff. Sure. I think I just want to kill this now while they're tapped out so they can't give it indestructible. That leaves me with three mana. I think we're just going to play Skullport Merchant. Get a treasure attack. This guarantees we can play Dreadhound next turn. We could draw a land, but if not, we're playing Dreadhound no matter what. That's pretty good. Pretty good card. So we're playing Naya Snow. Interesting. A removal spell. Yeah, I think we should still just play this. Auto pay. Mill three. Uh, one creature, so opponent loses one. No attacks. So now we can start sacrificing these pests to draw cards and... Dread Hound will deal damage. Phylath. Well, that's a little scary. You can also just chump block forever. So that's good. Holy crap. Uh, so we're going to block here for sure. Block. Oh, it has trample. Right. Well, we'll gain one. So that's something, right? Um... I think we are going to pay four. Destroy this. Opponent loses one. We'll play hunt for specimens. I think I want the removal. For the spirit of the Alder Guard. No attacks. I want the dread hunt ba uh, back as a blocker. Lotus Cobra. So this, uh, what is it? Plus one, plus one, and trample until end of turn. Pretty good. Ooh, the shy is scary. This is not looking good for me. 
trample again. All right, we'll uh, we'll block here. We'll block one of these. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, I have to block more, don't I? Um, can I just not win? I guess I just lose. Right. Well, that sucks. All right. Fine. Fine. We didn't even lose to a rare, so I can't even. I mean, I did lose to a shy. No, I did lose to a rare. That uh, that second sunrise thing. All right, um, this hand is weird, but I guess it's fine. We have two Sedgemore Witches, which could be pretty good. So we'll play Eye Twitch. Probably crack this Evolving Wilds next turn. Yeah, definitely. Play this Evolving Wilds. Get a Swamp. Nice. Eye Twitch. Attack for one. Nice. So we get a Sedgemore Witch next turn. We don't have any spells. Ooh, is that better? I mean, we don't have any ways to take advantage of this. But this draws us cards if they start killing my creatures. So I, I'll play that first. Opponent goes to 17. It's a start. Opponent's also playing Sedgemore Witch. Alright. Cool. We'll play our Sedgemore Witch. We will attack for two. Opponent goes to 15. Would love like a Deadly Dispute or something now. Deadly Dispute is crazy because we sacrifice an Eye Twitch. Draw a ton of cards. Sure. Alright, they kill my thing, but I draw a card. There's a hunt for specimens. That's actually decent. Um. So we'll play Sedgemore Witch. We'll play Hunt for Specimens. Get two pests and get a pest summonings. And we'll attack for two. Opponent goes to ten. Opponent's playing a similar, like, uh, casual pest deck. Gugari, uh, or what's it called? Witherbloom, if you will, pest deck. That's very unfortunate. But we can get a bunch of pest summonings. And we draw a card. Oh, uh, we get a land. But, uh, get a pest summonings. Get a pest summonings. Get another land. That's unfortunate. Um, so play this. Play this. Pass the turn. Not great all those lands we drew. Graveyard Trespasser. Alright. Pony goes to 18. Oh, another one. Sure. I Twitch. So we will play Pest Summonings. Play an I Twitch, maybe. Well, we have lots of things to sacrifice. Carter would be great now. We have all these creatures to attack with. Um, Dreadhound would also be very good. Um, that works. Well, actually, do I want to sacrifice Eye Twitch? Is there anything that I need? No, we'll just sacrifice one of these. It's fine. They'll gain a life. I'll gain a life. Draw two. Two Skullport Merchants. Well... We can start drawing a ton of cards now, I guess. We'll play another one. We'll just play them both for now. Sure. Play this land. Pass the turn. Really need a Carter or a Dreadhound, I think. Are the big ones. Loth would also be fantastic. Sedgemore Witch. Puts two counters on it. Or one counter. Two counters. Let's sacrifice... Auto pay, a pest, draw a card. Yep. Another Skullport Merchant. How many Skullport Merchants can I draw? Um, we'll get a treasure. Let's go ahead and sacrifice one now. Get get another land. Um, sacrifice this treasure now. Get a. That's pretty cool. I can't play it though. Unfortunate. Alright, um... No attacks. So now we can start drawing a ton of cards with all these pests. That's fine. Two counters there. That's fine. Um... I'm not gonna sacrifice a pest with the merchant, because I want to... I want to get this in play first. And now I'm going to sacrifice... I Or should I attack with the first? I should. Go to combat, attack for one. Actually, I'll just attack with one of these pests to see if they see if they want to block. 
to let me draw a card. They don't. Um, I am going to sacrifice this eye twitch, though. That's going to let me draw two. Yes, resolve. Draw. Um, I want a... I want a flyer, actually. I think I do. Another Skullport Merchant. Just, you know, every Skullport Merchant in the deck. That's fine. And we will pass the turn for now. Uh, Felstinger. That'd be pretty good in this deck, actually. Why am I not playing... Oh, it's probably because I have way too many 3-drops as it is. But Felstinger is pretty good. And we do get to draw a card even when they sacrifice their own stuff. So that's good. Uh, Prosperous Endkeeper. Two counters on the Felstinger. That's fine. Alright, time to start, uh... Actually, they already, we already drew the card for Morbid Opportunist, so we won't draw another one. But, I do think it's probably worth... At least blocking one of these, right? Sure. So we take five, we'll gain one back. Sure. Um, do I want to sacrifice anything? Not really. Carter is interesting. We're going to play that immediately. We will attack for two and one. Just to try to try to bait them into get get it getting me a card with the morbid opportunist. They don't fight. We play this. So I think I'm going to just kill this because I don't have to pay life to kill it. That's gonna draw me a card with morbid opportunist. And then we'll use this treasure to uh, play this shambling ghast. So all their stuff has to attack, right? Yes, so they are forced to attack this turn. They don't have a choice. They have to attack with everything that they control. Sure. Put two counters on the Prosperous Innkeeper. Smart. This whenever an attacking creature... Whenever an attacking creature dies. So that counts for my opponent's creatures. So that's good. Um... So, how are we doing? What are we doing here? We're doing... Uh, we'll do a 1, 2, 3 to kill this. We'll do a 1 here. Do we want to kill anything else? Do we want to sacrifice Carter to kill this? No, it's got Menace. So, we kill this for sure then, right? And that leaves us with, what, 5, 10? Oh, we're, we're dead. So, we got to lose another Skullport Merchant or 2... One, because it only deals five damage. Um, so we'll do this. Okay, so I get a five. Lots of stuff dies. A little bit scary with me, Hook Massacre. Hopefully this doesn't just kill me. Lots of triggers. Um, can I kill anything? Uh, I'm, I'll, uh, I'll just kill this, to this uh, token. It's fine. Alright, drain some life. Just, just lots of stuff happening here. Yep. Uh, that's pretty good. Alright, Punny goes to 27. Alright, Morbid Opportunist is good. So we'll play Morbid Opportunist. We will play Hunt for Specimens. Uh, do I want the removal spell? These have Ward discard a card. I don't want to pay 30 life, do I? It's a little bit scary. We'll just get this. We'll get this. We'll get a couple more tokens. What do I want to do here? I, I want to attack all out, right? No reason not to. We have three blockers back. Then we'll sacrifice this. This is going to let us draw three cards. Draw. Ooh, Lolt is great. And another Hunt for Specimens is also great. So we'll play that. Um, we're running out of stuff to get from the, from the sideboard. But this is fine. We're at 7 life. It's a little precarious with this Meat Hook Massacre. Like, even if we lose this game, we did a lot of cool stuff. But, ooh. Okay, well, that, uh... Speaking of losing the game... That kills us. I believe. Or do we gain enough life? Oh, no, because our creatures are smaller. So that's good. Draw a couple cards. Deadly Dispute's good. It can hit me for 6. But I'm not dead. Okay, attack for six. Oh, it's eight if they can uh, exile stuff. 
I only have 15 cards in my library. That's not great. Yep. Pestilent Cauldron. Down to four cards. We're actually just close to milling out. Um, we're going to play Loth for sure. We're going to minus. I will show you we'll play, what uh... I will get what I want. We'll play this. We will... What will we play now? Uh, that's a good question. Deadly Dispute. Sacrifice one of these. Get a loyalty counter. Oof. Alright, um... So we lose. But that's okay. Alright, no attacks. Yeah, they just kill us with the, uh... With the Pestilent Haze, most likely. Or the Pestilent Cauldron. We have two cards in our library. And they can gain life with, like, Meat Hook Massacre and these. They should just attack for five, or attack for ten. Gain two life, and then just mow me out with the Cauldron. Uh, that's not what I expected, but okay. They could have just won. Sure. Soul Shatter. That gets my lull. And then we just get drained for two. Alright. Yep, took my opponent a little bit to uh, figure that out. Alright, well... Not great. We went one and two. So that's the deck. We went one and two total. I think the issue with this deck, it just feels like it doesn't have any rares. It feels like it doesn't have any power. We have a lot of ways to draw cards. We just don't have enough ways to really take advantage of that. Maybe we need to go further into this sort of Sedge Bore Witch token thing. Uh, maybe it doesn't need to be Rakdos. Maybe we should just go into Gulgari and that'd be better. Um, there's probably ways to tune it, but it seemed okay. It just seemed to lack... Uh, finishing power, which you usually get with rares and mythics. So, uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.